loves and welcome back to the channel. So for this week's video, I wanted to tackle a highly requested video. If you guys have seen some of my previous videos regarding this topic, my VSG, um, as well as my PCOS diagnosis story, I had a lot of questions um, kind of following up with those videos in terms of how my VSG ended up helping out my PCOS. Um, so if you guys haven't seen those, those will be linked down below, but I wanted to bring this because um, a lot of people had questions as to how it helped me out. So I will be referencing some of my notes in my iPad. So if you see me looking down, that is why. But I wanted to give you guys a quick kind of background as to my specific PCOS in terms of like how it manifested um, and all that stuff if you guys haven't seen that video. So I was diagnosed with PCOS around three and a half years ago. I believe I was around 20 or 21. Um, due to a cyst erupting. That's why I ended up getting diagnosed and that's when I started looking into everything. So first I went to the doctors, didn't have a period for over a year and a half. Then I went back because I couldn't stop bleeding. Love that. <laughs> and then from there, um, I had tests done um, and all that stuff. Another way that it manifested was I gained over a hundred pounds in a year. I developed sleep acne. My fatigue was just crazy. My Hormone levels were everywhere once I actually got tested. So that was kind of like my base point. I personally decided to get weight loss surgery in order to improve my quality of life. With that being said, these are the top five ways that my VSG improved my PCOS. So let's go ahead and get into it. And the most obvious is that I was able to lose weight. Um, so like I mentioned, I gained over a hundred pounds in a little over a year's time with my PCOS being out of whack. And so of course, having weight loss surgery, you do lose the weight and it has been one of the greatest tools to help me lose weight. Secondly, it helped me put those symptoms into remission that I spoke about, the um, hormonal acne, the um, imbalance in terms of my testosterone and progesterone, those are back and in normal um, levels. My sleep acne, I no longer suffer from that and I'm sure everyone is completely happy about that because I used to scare my family and friends because I would stop breathing at night. That's not good. Um, of course, I also, um, the fatigue went away for sure. Um, my energy levels improved a lot. Um, so I would say that those got placed in remission and of course I do take proactive measures to continue to um, keep them at bay because my PCOS isn't gone it's just in remission as I like to say and you know if I slip up it has the potential to come back um, but VSG definitely helped me put those um, at bay so I got my period back which as I mentioned I was I had an absent menstrual cycle for over a year and a half um, and for someone that has PCOS and suffers from absent menstrual cycles getting your period every month um, I got it two weeks after my surgery um, and have had it ever since and and it's truly a blessing every month i am so grateful um for someone that pcos that is like god sent because most of us deal from absent menstrual cycles i will say that i have had um ladies reach out to me that um, it takes a little bit longer um i shared previously that i got it back in two weeks and i had messages that say that um, they got it back after six or it's been six and they still don't have it um so always allow yourself um and your body time to normalize and don't judge your body off of someone else's progress um and just trust the journey um and trust that um, you are doing everything in order for your period to come back. So with getting my period back, that meant that I was in a position to conceive. Um, and after getting diagnosed and researching and looking into everything, I left my doctor's office not knowing that I had the potential of becoming infertile if my PCOS was left undiagnosed. 
that I was gonna have a hard time conceiving, that there was a 30% greater chance of me miscarrying. That was all information that I wasn't told. So when I went home and I researched this, and I'm sure many of you guys can relate to this, I was completely devastated. Um, but through my VSG, my hormones did regularize, um, and now I am in a position to get pregnant. And I think above all, above all the cosmetic stuff that came from VSG, the losing the weight and all that stuff, um, I am completely and utterly grateful for a chance to conceive. I'm not getting emotional. <laughs> Being diagnosed with this at 22 and having to come to that crossroads um, and finding out that you have such a long road ahead of you when it comes to conceiving, it could be heartbreaking. It could be such an awful feeling, but, um, above all, I am completely grateful for my BSG and it gave me a chance to create life. I know that a lot of women actually get this um, surgery in order to conceive. I, my support group actually, there was a couple women that went into getting the surgery with the sole intention of getting pregnant. Um, and they actually do tell you within the first year to use double contraceptive if you are not trying to get pregnant, which birth control and all of that stuff is a completely different video because girl, I got a couple things to say about that. I've never actually been through a whole cycle of birth control um, and throughout my whole diagnosis and any time that I mention my PCOS, it's something that's pushed on me and it's very uncomfortable, but I'm still doing my research on all of that. But um, definitely that is um, a big topic that I want to get into but yes I can get pregnant lastly my VSG of course helps me maintain um, those previous uh, symptoms at bay helps me maintain my weight loss through using it as a tool and the lifestyle that I've created through my VSG um, so I definitely can tell when my levels are getting off or like I'm just stepping a little too much into the world of carbs and stuff like that but definitely it has helped me maintain all of that um, so that is the last way that it has improved my PCOS I still take things like an hostel um, to help out um, and keep my carb count low um, but VSG has definitely been a vital tool um, in my PCOS journey so those are the top five ways that VSG has helped my PCOS um, I hope that this gave you insight and um, started a dialogue. It is PCOS Awareness Month, uh, so I definitely wanted to put out some PCOS content. Um, again, VSG isn't the only road to helping your PCOS. Um, it is just the one that I chose to take. Um, so please take that as a disclaimer. This is not your only option, but it is an option um, so leave me any video requests down below again thank you guys for spending a little time with me and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys